Hello everybody, Joel here. I'm going to put my sprinkler, my in-ground sprinkler system in service for the first time this year. So I've got a black back flow preventer that I had put in last year. Um, I could have left it out here all winter, but I took it off last fall when I blew the system out. You can see I've got a coupling here for the air system. And I'll go ahead and pull those parts off. I've got a union right there, so I can take that off and just attach this union right onto it. So I think that'll work out uh, pretty slick. And I've got a copper union for the pipe that goes into the house. <clears throat> I ran a one inch line last fall or last year um, back into the water meter. Because so what was happening was this was just hooked up with a three quarter line at the the previous owner had run out and it was hooked up with a garden hose just did not it watered the yard yes but it did not perform well so I wanted to get that one inch copper line run in shoved it across the finished basement and right to the water meter so that's the first thing that our water hits and I've got a good shut off in there and a drain so I've got it sloped back to drain out and I'll go ahead and get this thing put on I was afraid of that. I didn't have it strapped up and I did get a little bit of settling over the years so I've got a good inch that I have to try to gain on this pipe coming back up so I'll work on getting that raised up so I can get this get this union put together. Okay I gained a little bit. I just pulled some rock away from where this goes in the ground. It 90s right in and goes down into the valve system here. So take a look there. So I just pulled some of these rocks away and I was able to wiggle it up a little bit. And we'll get that thing tightened on and see if we can start sprinkling some grass this year yet. It has been very dry last year. I didn't even turn the sprinkler on at all. We were so wet up here, but this year it's been pretty dry. We're into July. We've only had a couple of really good, really good rain days so far. Well, I'll go downstairs, turn the water on, and we'll see what we get. So this is what I did last fall. In from the water meter, it just went 90 degree right into, um, I used three quarter pecs for the entire, well, there's three quarter and half, but that's my main line going to the entire house right there. And the sprinkler system was fed off of that. So what I did is I put a T in, came to a one inch shutoff, Put a uh, put a spigot there so I could drain it the hose into the sump basket in the fall and then I've got it well insulated 
Oh, we run up into the ceiling here and it's all finished all the way out. I cut some access holes in and piped it out. It's all insulated the whole way because we'll get heavy condensation here in the summertime. But let's go ahead and uh, turn this on and see what happens. Well, sounds good so far. A couple drips coming from the union here. So I'll go ahead and I'll tighten that up and then we should have it. All right, got that fitting to stop leaking. That was a tight one. But yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and uh, fire up some sprinkler heads and see if we can, um, I can manually turn them on with this little dial down here on the, on the um, valve. Works out pretty good. I gotta get a cover for this box too. This homemade box, other box wasn't big enough. I just like to have a little more room to work. So I've had one zone running here for a little while. This zone coincides with some landscaping that I just finished. And um, hence that's why I needed to turn this system on for the year too since it was so dry. I'm also going to be planting some grass seed along my new patio and landscaping here. So these three heads of that one's not in the ground yet, but it's getting located, relocated. Those two are brand new heads. But there's just something so satisfying about seeing these sprinklers run and be dialed in, making the grass green. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.